least fashionable boat in the world in 1955 was a boat made of wood. There were no antique boat shows. There was no wooden boat magazine. There was no wooden canoe heritage. There was nothing. And I'd go to the dump and you would find perfectly good wooden canoes that happened to be leaking because the canvas was gone regularly. The prospects for making a living in uh, wood canvas canoe building were really very dim at that at that point. We both thought, well, we'll we'll keep building our own, we'll build canoes or, or work on restorations as, as uh, a little bit on the side and, and have our uh, real jobs for a while and, and we'll see what the future holds. Well, uh, for new canoes, uh, I build, uh, I think, 11, I have 11 basic models. Of, and so about half of them, I've, the boats I build, I've designed myself, and the other half are, are reproductions of historic boats I've liked. I currently am building four different new boat models in my shop, and they, they've come from different places. I build what are known as cedar strip canoes, wood strip epoxy canoes. The designs I use are my own now. I've probably designed 20 to 25 canoes in the 33 years I've been doing this. The form is the heart of canoe building, and this is the sh shape of the inside of the canoe. You know, and you hold that clinched iron just right, and you hit that nail just right, and you can just feel it bend. And, and, and it sinks in there just right, and you whap, 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 and it's done. You know? The most challenge for a business like this is to make a living from it. And I think people don't quite understand it. They think it's just sort of this quaint little thing that you do, but I'm working hard. The business part of it's been the hardest thing for me to learn. But if you don't pay attention to it, you don't stay in business. Business requires you to make money, and the craft part of it requires you to put your heart and soul into it.